Okay, that's 50 pounds, 8 pounds. That's also 50 pounds. I don't think yours is, so... Okay, here you go. You, you're welcome to take this. I can't carry all this shit. Ah, <sighs> okay. How about I take that? Can you take that? Aha! Wait. Wait a minute. <sighs> Yours is cooler than mine. We can't have that. Alright, we'll do. Sure. <sighs> Alright. Traveler's pack. Peril. Oh, the backpack. Sure. Why didn't you just put it on immediately? Anyways. Alright. Sure. That looks a little bit better. Please take it. I can't carry all this shit. You're killing me. I can't carry all this shit. You're killing me. I can't carry all this shit. Okay. Will you put the fucking backpack on, Delilah? Okay, here you go. You know what, Delilah? I don't have time for your shit. I need to take a nap. Hold on a second, guy. Collecting another one of my bounties, eh? You're taking a bite out of my income, kid. I want my hands right now, or it's your ass. It's your ass. Fork it over right now. One thousand caps. Fuck that shit. I've got a bounty hunter. I'm a traveling folk singer. I don't buy it. I think I'll just kill you. Eh, whatever. Delilah, will you just please, please, wear the fucking backpack? Sure. Thank you, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. All right. Uh. Okay, good enough. Right? No? No? Sure. Oh, 
Wait. You know what? Whatever, Delilah. Whatever. Sulik used to say that we all have two wolves. Battling inside us. Good wolf and an evil. Okay, here you go. I don't understand. Sure. Okay. It's Delilah's bag. Holds 20 pounds. This holds 50. You hold the that holds okay, 50. God damn it. I can't carry all this shit. Okay, here you go. I I'm getting a little a little flustered. Don't need it. I'll take it. Don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it. Uh, don't need it, don't need it. Good enough. Whatever. Whatever. Don't care. Oh god. Oh shit. Didn't mean to do that. No. <gasps> no. Alright. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Not sure uh, what that was. Eddie's sneaking up on us. But fuck it. We killed the guy. That some other guy was like, hey, I didn't want you to kill the guy. Is Colin dead? Yeah. Outstanding job. Come back when you're... Yep. I've got another bounty. Uh, what's the most dangerous bounty? Most dangerous? Hmm. I'd have to think about that. 
There's tons of men that were plenty mean, and more than a few were just crazy. But dangerous? I'd have to go with Doc Friday. Old Doc isn't your typical doctor. I hear he was an orthodontist before the war. Whatever the fuck that is. Doc's a ghoul gunslinger, and I'm speaking about him in the present tense because he's almost certainly still alive. Years ago, a bounty came up on Doc because he had shot an actor in the testicles. Oh. I never liked actors, so I decided to give Doc a chance and explain his side of the story. He was quite affable. What the hell? Being a ghoul. So many of them are self-pity and pissants, but Doc never whined. He just treated everyone with courtesy. We talked it over, and he was so damn likable, I agreed to settle his bounty on a game of cards. Sure enough, that slick bastard took me for everything, so I let him go. I'm glad I did, because Ignore later that. I heard about his reputation. Despite his polite nature, old Doc is the fastest goddamn pistol in the region, maybe in the whole fucking continent. I heard he once smoked an entire squad of legionaries that tried to arrest him for drug smuggling. He wiped them out in seconds, supposedly. He still drifts from here to there, always with that ghoul whore at his side. No Face Kate was her name, I think. If you ever encounter him, I'd advise you to return his courtesy. Shit, I got distracted again. Are we going to work or not, damn it? I'm always ready. Good. This next bounty has a fine payoff. Target is Tony Idaho, a young man who's shaken up the drug trade in the Mojave. He's been able to put more dope on the market at cheaper rates than all his competitors, including the cons, who are not too pleased. You're definitely getting a reputation. The client asks for you by name. They want Tony to bite the dust immediately. Good luck. Well, thank you, sir. That is very kind of you to uh, offer that courtesy. I can show you the world, but the shit is fucking up. To Novak! Should just go in there and kill Boone. Be like, fuck you, Boone. Fuck you, Boone. Boone's being a dick. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, an old man. They got spies all over. I know, man. Who sent you? I ain't talking. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. Good. And I don't aim to now, by gum. Who tried to make you talk? You found it, no bark. You've done it again. You let on that you know things. Now they'll never let you be. All right, stranger, you got me. What do you want to know? Everything. What's going Folks on? Folks will tell you that they seen ghouls up near the rocket factory. Sensationalist hooey, cooked up by superstitious yokels, seeing phantoms of their own imagining. Shit, yeah. Uh. Good idea. It ain't safe to stay on the same topic for too long. Because they know I ain't just barking here. What I say is God bite, because it's the truth. Them quack doctors can say what they want about all the rad scorpion stings that done pierced my skull. And I know what I seen. What did you see? There's been things of a disturbing nature going on at the McBride Corral. Seems every night one of their herd meets a most unnatural death. And always there's holes all over the body. Work of the chupacabra, the livestock vampire, says no bark. But they don't pay no mind. Too many holes, they say, and there's bullets in them. Totally the chupacabra. Well, says no bark. We got a chupacabra with an automatic weapon. And that's when they get real quiet, because now they see the predicament we're in. Yeah. What else do you know? I come face to face with the chupacabra himself one night, whilst I was investigating whether this gecko was hiding his treasure from me. Wait, wait. Gecko treasure? Tell me more. You could imagine. Had two heads and fangs down to the ground. Best I could tell, anyways, since when he come up to me, he was invisible. 
Had himself a blunderbuss, what would rotate and shoot bullets real fast out of a backpack. Never seen nothing like it. Walked right past me having an argument with somebody. But I only saw one chupacabra, so I guess the other fella had to be invisible too. Only more invisible than the other one. I see. Bye.